A wedding is a ceremony where two people are united in marriage. Wedding customs vary greatly between cultures, ethnic groups, religions, countries, and social classes. Most wedding ceremonies involve an exchange of marriage vows by a couple, presentation of a gift, and a public proclamation of marriage by an authority figure or celebrant. Certainly, traditional Chinese weddings are no exception, but particular and rigid in form. In this session, we are going to learn how to describe a traditional Chinese wedding, which includes customs before, at, and after the wedding. Marriage in the Confucian context. From the perspective of a Confucian family, marriage brings together families of different surnames and so continues the family line of the paternal clan. This is generally why having a boy is preferred over a girl when giving birth. Therefore, the benefits and demerits of any marriage are important to the entire family, not just the individual couples. Let's take the well-known story of Niu Lang, Coward, and Junyu, the weaving maid, for example. Now, suppose you were Jade Emperor or Empress. Your daughter, the weaving maid, is in love with a cowherd. Will you give them blessings? The negative response can easily be understood if it's in a Confucian context, right? Since the marriage is regarded as a union of two families rather than simply two individuals, the compatibility of the couple is extremely crucial. Then how can the couple's compatibility be predicted? To answer this question, you need to know the terms such as Tian Gan, Di Zhi, Shen Chen Ba Zi. Heavenly stems and earthly branches are collectively known as stem branch or Gan Zhi. The ten heavenly stems are Jia Yi Bing Ding, Wu Ji Gen Xin Ren Gui. The twelve earthly branches are Zi Chou Ying Mo. Each heavenly stem is paired with an earthly branch to form the Gan Zhi, sixth agenary cycle that starts with Jia Zi. This also shows the ancient Chinese people's belief in the harmony between the earth and the heaven. In fact, each Shi Chen, day, month, and year has its corresponding Gan Zhi. That is to say, one's birth date includes eight different elements, which is called eight characters of birth, Shen Chen Ba Zi. This fixed element is what determines marriage compatibility. Till now, you may also understand why 2021 is also called Xin Chou Nian. Next, let's take a closer look at the traditional wedding rituals. Chinese pre-wedding customs are traditional Chinese rituals prescribed by the Book of Rites. Now known as the Three Letters and Six Rites. Three letters are respectively the betrothal letter, the gift letter, and the wedding letter. After the long, tedious task of matchmaking, the proposal is finalized through a formal betrothal letter, which is the first of the three letters. This letter is supposed to outline the couple's intentions to marry and set out their vows. 
the betrothal letter is then followed by the gift letter, which basically documents the details of the gifts that would be given to the bride's family. The final letter is a wedding letter, which formally welcomes the bride into the groom's family. Six rites include Na Cai, formal proposal, Wen Ming, asking for the eight characters of prospective bride from the groom's side to confirm compatibility. Na Ji, placement of the eight characters at the ancestor altar to confirm compatibility. Na Zhen, sending betrothal gifts to the bride's side. Na Zhen is a very important rite marking the real beginning of the wedding preparation. The next rite is Qin Qi, selection of an auspicious wedding date and Qin Ying, picking up the bride from her parents' home. A wedding that incorporates all six rites is considered a complete and decent wedding. As you can see, traditional Chinese people spend much time and energy confirming the compatibility between the groom and bride, selecting the auspicious date and preparing for the betrothal gifts before the formal wedding ceremony. Certainly, this complicated procedure has been abandoned more or less in modern society. On the day of the wedding, everything will be in red, since red symbolizes many things in ancient China, which include good luck, happiness, prosperity, etc. Before the bride left the parents' home, she would cry to show her reluctance to leave home and gratitude to her parents. The groom would go to the bride's house to pick her up. Once at the groom's house, they would commence the bowing ritual. The couple would koto to the heavens, the groom's parents, and each other. Then, there are offerings of tea and red packets. Everyone who received gifts would get even numbers during the ceremony, as the single objects symbolized loneliness and was not conductive to a good marriage. Joining of hair is also a very important and meaningful ritual. In traditional Chinese culture, one's hair represents oneself. At a traditional Chinese wedding, the bride and the groom both cut a lock of their hair, which is then tied in a knot and put in a bag to keep. This small ritual towards the end of the wedding signifies the tying of the knot and becoming one in flesh and blood to live happily ever after. Now you may understand Jie Fa Fu Qi has a literal meaning and a specific ritual at traditional Chinese wedding. After the wedding was over, there were several customs that had to be completed, such as Miao Jian, Bai Jiu Gu, and Gui Ning. As for Miao Jian, here Miao refers to the ancestral temple, Zong Ci, Ci Tang, the ritual of a visit to the ancestral temple named Miao Jian reflects the Chinese people's strong consciousness of clan. Only after this ritual, according to the Book of Rites, is the bride a legally married wife. For people living in towns and cities where there is no ancestral temple of the family clan nearby, the ritual may be held 
before the ancestral altar or shrine which is in the house of the family. Another important ritual after the wedding ceremony is Bai Jiu Gu. Here, Jiu Gu refers to parents-in-law. The ritual of meeting parents-in-law is a reflection of Chinese people's concept of family and obedience. Guining is a bride and groom visiting the bride's family to give gifts and show respect. This was also known as Huimen and usually regarded as the end of wedding ceremonies. To sum up, in ancient China, marriage is a union of two families rather than simply two individuals. That's why much importance is attached to the compatibility of the couple and ethics at wedding ceremonies. Thank you.